hey guys it's mishka don't forget to check out these videos if you miss them i'll link them in the description box below hello people i decided to do um like 24 hours in my natural here and this is literally this is real life this is literally how my hair has been looking looking like crap it's just in this high puff there is absolutely no life in my hair right now so i'm gonna take you on this journey because my hair needs to be washed i'm gonna show you how wash day how long wash day takes um when i'm not filming it takes forever literally all two three days takes forever so this is real life and how my hair looks yes people it's only perfect in the videos in my tutorials but other words it looks like shit <laughs> it looks like crap it's dry af yeah but let's go on this journey real life don't judge me i know some of y'all going through the same thing i mean i'm home every day because this virus thing this pandemic thing why would i want to comb my hair like all i do is stay home i don't want to comb my hair plus i've been sick and i haven't been able to film but i'm not feeling so bad right now so i decided to take you on this journey don't look at my face my face crusty lord the neglect the neglect that is going on right now on my body my entire body is ridiculous but yeah so this is step one of my hair you know it's like in the evening right now i'm gonna wash my hair i'm gonna show you the process of how all of that is going down <laughs> so um this is like day two i said i would wash my hair yesterday and i never washed my hair but i started the process today this is real life people this is how it goes for me i say today i'm gonna wash my hair and it never happens never but i started soaking my scalp just to kind of soften all the build up that's there so i started that process so basically what's in my hair now my hair is wet with conditioner so let's see if i can actually finish washing my hair good morning <laughs> okay i think this is the third or fourth day so i'm definitely gonna wash my hair Definitely. I think I've waited long enough. I started it like two days or three days ago, but no, I'm actually going to wash my hair. Okay, as you can see from, if I showed you the previous clips of how long it took to actually start to wash my hair, yeah, you can see that that is literally my life. And it actually took that long because I wasn't feeling well. But on a real, that's how long it takes. Today, I'll say I'm going to be doing my hair. Tomorrow, I'll say the same thing and it never happens. Comment below if that happens to you. Now, as promised, I will be choosing products from my product stash. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box below. But I have so many hair products. I have a huge bag here. I have a huge bag of hair products and I have like three more of these. Yeah, three more of these. And I told you guys that I'm going to be trying to use up all of these products. So from my product stash, I chose, someone suggested that I use the African Pride Moisture Miracle line that I had in my product stash. So I'll be using those products today. Now, because I remember when I got this, I don't think I got a shampoo. I got a pre-shampoo, 
which is this thing here this is a 12 ounce jar it's a aloe and coconut water pre shampoo if you want to see an in-depth review on these products i'll leave that video in the description box below it's very old but very informative this is like the best pre shampoo ever um if you don't have time to make your own pre shampoo you can always use this the aloe vera in it oh my god if you are tangly tangly here this is the best thing to use in your hair before you apply your shampoo it's super amazing then the next thing that came i think i got these in a i think i got it in a curl box i can't remember but yeah the next thing that i got i got an oil i can't i don't know where i do with that oil but i got an oil and i didn't want to use that oil because it was like coconut oil so i also got the honey chocolate and coconut oil nourish and restore conditioner it literally looks like chocolate so i'm gonna be using this and the heat activated mask it's a moroccan clay and shea butter detox and soften heat activated mask so i can't remember if i had i bought this last year or the year before but i still have these products i don't know if products expire but listen all if they expire i am gonna be using them up i don't care after i spend so much money nah i also have the leave-in it is super full i haven't used i haven't used it much it is full to the brim it's like a 15 ounce jar of leave-in and I haven't used it. It's mixed with coconut oil and biob biob oil Yeah, it's supposed to provide intense moisture and helps to rich repair natural coils and curls So that's this here. I'll also be using this in this video So let's get to it so for this i'm gonna be applying both the conditioner and the heat activated mask at once just because i do that sometimes just to save time you know just to save time all right so this is the honey chocolate and coconut oil conditioner this is how it looks literally it looks like chocolate and it smells really good wow smells lovely the consistency is creamy light creamy and it feels nice going on to my hair it have a strong smell though perfumey all right now i'm gonna be applying the heat activated mask this is a bit thicker than the the chocolate conditioner <laughs> i think i ripped out my hair while i was shampooing it oh i forgot to show you guys what i actually chose from my product stash to wash my hair so i used my tea gel this is a tea gel shampoo for like it controls dandruff um psoriasis yeah this i love this i use that and i use my i followed up with my mild organics shampoo so that's what i use and also that inexpensive conditioner from suave i use all of those my hair is a bit tangled from the last video that i did where i used a gel for a wash and go it's like tangled and that's why i don't like using gel if some of you know i do not like using gel in my hair because every time i use gel in my hair it leaves me with single strand knots which i have right now like i have a bunch of them i think i'm gonna have to like do a search and destroy afterwards and clean up my hair because the gel oh kind of gel dries out your hair and then when it dries out your hair it gets tangled and it leaves your hair with a lot of 
single strand knot. If you have gotten this far in the video, that means you are enjoying the video. So just go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you haven't done that already. And for those who, as they click the video, they just head to the thumbs up button, you are a godsend. I appreciate you guys. But if you haven't given the video a thumbs up, just go ahead and do it. It's literally below this video. So I went ahead and I sectioned my hair in smaller sections just because my hair was super tangled from using the gel in one of my previous videos. So I decided to do smaller sections so I could easily apply the product and have more slip and to be able to detangle my hair with ease. So because it's a heat activated mask, I left it on my hair for like 40 to 45 minutes. I didn't use a blow dryer as my heat. I decided to sit outside because I was super bored during the pandemic and I used the sun as my heat to activate the mask. I just sat in the sun. Um, the results, my hair feels super soft. That's exactly what you want when you deep condition your hair. Super soft, it feels super nice. Now, um, the leave-in, I wanted to use a leave-in in this clip. I'm probably just gonna use a little bit because I want to do another video that someone suggested doing the LCO method versus the LOC method. So I'm gonna save this product for that video, but I'm gonna test it out show you guys how my hair is looking super soft super soft super soft and light love it so this is a consistency of the leaving um it's creamy light I'm just going to add a little bit so you guys can see. It's super light to the point that um, I probably couldn't use it by itself as a moisturizer. Based on the fact that it's so light. Because sometimes I use my leave-ins as a moisturizer based on their consistency. Yeah, but it feels good and the smell isn't strong. That leave-in is very thick thin and light perfect consistency for a leave-in so this is how my hair looks and it smells good the scent is very gentle it's not overpowering like the conditioner I'm just gonna twist up about my hair there we have it looks good right nice so all in all I still love these products I don't remember what I had reviewed about them the first time when I did a thorough review but I love them I love the leave-in it's super light not overpowering um, the pre poo shampoo I still love that this is the pre poo shampoo too the light is too bright for you to see it but i love that i like the activated mask it leaves your hair super soft these are great products very very great products and they don't have any parabens mineral oil petrolatum or sulfates and that is what you want when you're trying to find good products in your hair and the leave-in is the first ingredient is water that's perfect so you know it definitely going to moisturize your hair but the leave-in feels really nice comparing my hair to a unmoisturized hair moisturized and then this just has in water i love it very light very light i like it Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you in my next video.